today's true crime time we have someone who i don't have any other videos about jake bird and as you likely know by now these take me a very long time so if you can like comment share copy link let me know if this is on your for you page anything to help me get views i appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law check out my new logo in one of my recent videos and get ready for i appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law merch with the new logo coming soon okay so jake bird was born on december 14th 1901 and he lived until july 15th 1949 he was an infamous american murderer who was tried and executed for the axe murders of bertha clute who was 53 years old and her daughter beverly june clute who was 17 in tacoma washington on october 30th 1947 however it's suspected that he killed as many as 46 people on october 30th 1947 the home of bertha and her daughter beverly was broken into by an intruder with an axe when bertha tried to pull out a weapon the perpetrator hacked her to death with the axe her daughter beverly soon came downstairs and confronted her mom's killer and soon the killer hacked her to death as well two police officers sent to the tacoma residence to investigate reports of screams from inside saw a man run out the back door and subsequently gave chase the suspect was captured and taken to the Tacoma City Jail. There, he confessed to the killings and identified himself as Jake Bird and claimed that the murders were a result of a burglary gone bad. 45-year-old Bird had an extensive criminal record, including many counts of burglary and attempted murder, and had been incarcerated for a total of 31 years in Michigan, Iowa, and Utah. Bird was a transient who had been born in Louisiana in a location he said he could not remember. He supported himself as a manual laborer and railroad gandy dancer who laid and maintained tracks. The work on the railroad kept him moving from place to place. After his conviction was announced, Bird was allowed to make a final statement. He spoke for 20 minutes, noting that his request to represent himself had been denied and that his own lawyers were against him. Bird then said, I'm putting the Jake Bird hex on all of you who had anything to do with my being punished. Mark my words, you will die before I do. Allegedly, six people connected with the trial died. Judge Edward D. Hodge died of a heart attack within a month of sentencing him to death, as did one of the officers who first took his confession. A police officer who took a second confession died, as did the court's chief clerk and one of Bird's prison guards. J.W. Selden, one of Bird's lawyers, died on the first anniversary of his sentencing. He claimed to have committed 44 more murders, and it seemed very likely that this was true. He knew enough about the murders and was able to locate some of the bodies for police. He was hanged on the morning of July 15th, 1949. 